What's going on, everybody? It is your boy. Welcome in the Fat Boy Fragrance Reviews. Of course, I am Mr. Fat Boy rocking the Sixers hat, baby. Sixers looking good yesterday. Can't wait to watch the game tomorrow. Super excited about that. Of course, you know who I am. I am your boy, Mr. Fat Boy. And today we start off Fat Boy Freshy Week, baby. All week we'll be talking about fresh fragrances, my favorite my favorite uh, kind of genre of fragrances are fresh fragrances. What I'm more known for, it's where my likes and my, and my most of my likes are, most of my top fragrances in my collection are geared towards fresh fragrances. We're going to get all up in it today on a double dip, new release fragrances that are fresh. And I can't wait to share them with y'all. First of all, you are new. Come on in, baby. Hit the like and subscribe. Join the Fat Boy family. Become a part of something positive, energetic, and ready to bring it to you 100% every time I put in the work. So make sure you hit the notifications. You get a video video basically every day. And I do it for y'all. And I put the work in. Thank you so much for showing the love and support. Now, if you do want to sample these, you can sample these at fatboyfragrance.com. Link will be below. You know how we do it. Let's get started, baby. No edits. No do-overs. Just one take and one take. And we get it right. Fat Boy Fragrance Reviews starts now. All right, baby, we are back. I told you I won't be gone too long. The two fragrances we're talking about today are Azaro's Chrome Parfum and Toomey's Atlas. So we're going to start off with Toomey's Atlas first. Give you my full feelings on it. I've worn it. I'm ready to share it with y'all. This is a really nice, fresh fragrance. Under the radar kind of new release. Just came out. But you know your boys got you covered. Now, I have tried the other Toomey's in the lineup. Toomey is a company that makes luggages, but they have ventured in the fragrances, and they have a couple now. They have three. They have one called Continuum, which I do own, but I broke the bottle, so I never reviewed it. I don't have enough left really to sample. Very little bit. So sad I broke that bottle. And they have Unwind, and I can't remember the other name of the other one. I've tried all three of them. Uh, Continuum is fantastic, woody kind of fragrance. Unwind and the other one are kind of, you know, you know, so-so fresh fragrances. This one to me really caught my attention by the notes. Let's get all up in it. And you saw the box. Here is the bottle itself. Really cool looking bottle, right? And the top is kind of like their luggage. Because you can pull them as hard as you want to. It won't come off. You got to twist it and unlock it. And it comes off. There you go. So the bottle's pretty cool. Very heavy. Um, you don't see Toomey's hit the discount sites too much. I haven't seen them on any discount site. These are around 100 to 120 bucks, depending on what size you pick up. Um, so the bottle is well made. I do like the bottle. I have worn it a good bit. For me, that's a lot. So, uh, yeah, so I've worn it a good bit. Got my feelings on it last week. Can't wait to share it with y'all. Before we get started on the fragrance, let's look at the notes, though. See what we got, baby. So on the top of this bad boy, you're going to have um, bergamot, uh, grapefruit. You know, I love me some grapefruit and bergamot, baby. Then you got in the middle, you got some amberwood with some lambdum and geranium. And the bottom, you got some vetiver and some uh, a, a Japanese vetiver and Haitian vetiver to go along with some Indian sandalwood. So kind of nice little blend of fragrances there. Let's find out where it kind of sits in my kind of feeling on how this fragrance goes, we'll find out together now. So let's put it in the skin, see what we got. Sick of the sprayer. Not bad sprayer, pretty good sprayer. Yeah. Right away you're gonna say, man, it smells really nice. Very fresh, very uplifting. Reminiscent of a blue de Chanel type of fragrance. Oof, really nice though. That sandalwood that vetiver hits you pretty good. It's a nice little uh, 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 kind of earthy effect to it that brings it back down. It's kind of like blending Blue de Chanel with Tierra de Jemez. That's kind of the vibe I get with this one. Oh, man. This is a really nice fragrance. As far as Fat Boy Freshy Weeks go, 
This one definitely hits the mark for being fresh, um, uplifting, easy to wear, easy to put on and go. Is it kind of a niche fragrance? It's teetering on that as far as the quality of it. It's still a designer kind of smell, mass appealing for sure. Right off the opening, I do get that gorgeous, uh, I do get that gorgeous bergamot and grapefruit there. A little bit of floral vibe too. I know there's no in the middle, but it really, really amps up really quick with the sandalwood and the vetiver. Those two different types of vetiver really do a good job. <sighs> yes. So take out like a blue to Chanel with Tierra de Hermes, Trey Fresh. More, probably more Trey Fresh than the regular Hermes. And this is what you get. And it is phenomenal. It just radiates off the skin, booms off the skin. I can smell it really well. When I wore it, I was like, man, I'm picking this up really good. Yeah, super nice. Is it a, 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 a changing the wheel, a brand new scent profile? No. It follows in the line of your fresh aquatic kind of fragrances. It does the job. It's a citrus fragrance with a beautiful dry down that holds well together. No funky notes in there. So it's cut and dry. It does the job. All right, let's find out if this one gets my seal approval or not. Performance, solid. Six hours, five hours. Um, as far as like your CIs, your scent bubble, really good. People can smell you for a little while. As you, as it, it, I still smelled it after about two hours, so I know it's there. I resprayed it a couple times just because I love the opening of this fragrance so much that I love to respray it. Oh, God, that smells so good. Super masculine, in my opinion, too. Not a unisex fragrance, definitely masculine. Definitely one when you, when you know, if you want to be different, you want to be something that nobody else has. This is definitely worth checking out, in my opinion. All right. So performance is really good. Does the wifey like it? Absolutely. It's a freshie. You know she liked it. Um, did I get any compliments wearing it? There was any kind of reactions? Not really. I mean, I wore it to work. Didn't really hear much about it. Because this one probably falls in line with a lot of other fresh fragrances. So it doesn't really stand out. But it is a really well done fragrance. In my opinion. It does the job really well. This one can be worn at night. Day. Definitely a warmer weather fragrance. But a good date fragrance too because it's going to be one that's going to be easy inviting a blind date first date definitely a good one for that you know uh wearing the work office safe definitely office safe too worth my opinion is it worth 120 bucks well if you think blue de chanel is worth 120 bucks and Tierra de hermes is worth 100 bucks you'll think this is worth 100 bucks then that's the way i see it all right and finally do i recommend it how much do i like it i love it 100 percent. i love this fragrance i highly recommend it you want to sample it, you know you can sample it at fatboyfragrance.com. The customer is always right. This one is a perfect fragrance for this time of year. It's a great way to kick off Fatboy Fresh Your Week. Let's get on to the second one now. The one you're probably more excited about. And that is Chrome Parfum. A new release. Alright. Here's your standard Chrome box. Alright. Alright. Will you see this one on discounters in about four or five months? Absolutely. If you want to wait until then, you'll probably be okay. If you just want to sample it now, you know where you can sample it. Look at the color coordination, baby. Color coordination. There's the bottle. Got fingerprints all over it. So uh, I do own Chrome, the original. It's a pretty older formulation. I do own Chrome Legend, my two favorites. Those are the only two that I have. I really like them. They're really, really uplifting and fresh. Let's see how this one fares. Let's go and put it on the skin. All right, baby, here we go, here we go. Man, I love me some freshies. Put it in the air, hold on. Ah, oh, come on in. Woo hoo hoo. Uh, how it compares to the other one, Let, let's compare. There's mine right there. Like I said, same bottle style. Let's kind of compare and put it in the air. This one is definitely more floral, more softer, definitely softer and lighter. <laughs> That's the thing about this one. 
But I still think this one outperforms this one. In my opinion, even though it's a perfume concentrate. Let's go ahead and pull up the notes because there's not a lot of notes on this one. I think there's like three notes in this bad boy, and that's it. And I love that because less I gotta read. On the notes of this bad boy are green mandarin, lavender, and pine. So, um, I do get the pine vibe. It definitely has a green, greenish, freshy vibe to it. A citrus green vibe with a nice lavender note that kind of gives it a soapy quality there a little bit. I do like that. So if you're looking for something for the gym, something to where it smell fresh and clean, bam! Does this one do the job really well? Put it in the air one more time. Oh, man. I would say that this is probably the most unique one of the bunch I picked up so far this week. And there's other ones I re that I'm going to wear and wear and review this week. New releases. Of all of them, this is probably the most unique. I think it steps away, way away from Chrome. Without a doubt. And I like the modern twist on it. It is definitely pleasing. I almost thought I wasted my money with this one. But the more I smell it, the more I, the more I kind of get to feel my feel with it. I like this one a lot. So Chrome Le Parfum does have a nice quality and does have a place in your collection. Need a new freshie? Want a kind of a soapy, citrusy green vibe? Bam. All right. Let's find out if this one's going to get my full seal approval or not. Performance. That's where the problem lies. Doesn't perform that good. That's going to hurt it. I didn't get, I had to respray this a lot. I don't mind respraying. That's me. I don't mind at all respraying. But if you have a problem with that, this might not be for you. Two hours, maybe skin scent after that. But it makes it makes the air smell good. Scent trail, scent bubble, sillage, maybe 30 minutes. So spray this right before you go in somewhere. It's okay. It's very fresh and easy to wear. What type of environment you can wear this fragrance in, office, work, gym. Definitely a good gym fragrance. Definitely a good office fragrance because it's safe and easy to wear. Won't offend anybody. Very clean. Wear around the house too. It's a good wear around the house fragrance too. If you like to do that, I like to do that. So yeah, a, a good bedtime fragrance too because the lavender note in there is very nice, very up, very calming, very pleasing. So yeah, wear that at that time too. All right. So performance is the kind of the iffy thing with this one. Does the wifey like it? Absolutely. We might well just say she's going to like most of these freshies I talk about. It's a check, 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 check. No doubt. Check the box. The wifey loves this one. And when I did spray it, people did say I smelled good. I did get a comment at, at, at when I was on my way to work. So this one does definitely have, have that appeal. People are going to appreciate this one. If you're looking for compliments, does that, I would overspray this one for sure. All right. And do I like it? I like it, don't love it, but I like it for this reason because it is different from the original. It is something new, but I wish it performed better. Other than that, I'll give about 80% approval. So that's it. It almost gets a full seal of approval in your boy. Pretty close. So, both of these fragrances, great way to start Freshy Week off. I'll be bringing you some more great fresh fragrance reviews all week. Part of Fat Boy's Freshy Week, baby. Y'all stay safe. Y'all stay well, and if you smell good, and you feel good, baby, then it's going to be all good. Fat Boy Freshie review for the first one of Freshie Week is done.